Hey guys, Steve from PC Budget Solutions here, and the project is done. Had a lot of help from my buddy Carlin, thanks to Dustin and Micro Center for giving me the hookup for everything. But this is just the very first set of benchmarks for the Ryzen 5 1600 versus the Intel Core i5 7600K. Now, there's a lot more we have to do, but I guarantee you these benchmarks are not what anybody has expected. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. So, taking a really quick look at the CPUs, the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 is a 3.2 GHz, 6 core, 12 thread processor with a turbo boost up to 3.6 GHz. 16 megs of cache, 65 watt TDB, and it costs me 220. An Intel Core i5 7600K has a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz with four cores and four threads total, boosting all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz, only six megs of cache, and it costs me $240. So they are very, very, very close. It hits a wide market of people there's a lot of people buying cpus in this price point so here's the question which one is going to perform better well let's take a look at our test systems first so take a look at the test systems i have my ryzen 5 1600 at stock i have a corsair h100i version 2 got a bracket the other day for that an asrock b350 pro 4 motherboard I'm running two identical memory kits. It's a 16 gig kit, 3200 megahertz. I ran it at 2133 for the time being. This is the only test I'll do it in. G skill Trident Z memory. I actually have two EVGA GTX 1080 for the wins, both boosting within about 5 megahertz of each other, 2025 megahertz. EVGA G2 550 watt power supply. And I ran all the games off the same SanDisk Ultra 240 gig external SSD. It's USB 3.0. Now, now here's the other test system. I have the Core i5-7600K also at stock. At NZXT Kraken X60. That'll work. And Asus Z270 board. No issues with that. Same exact memory kit. It's actually a 32 gig kit that I had and I broke it down. Another EVGA GTX 1080 for the win edition. A CX750M 80 plus bronze power supply. And the same external solid state drive so as close as you can get without actually having to shut down each one and running out running dual benchmarks on each system so let's go ahead and let's take a look at some performance results so the very first test ashes of the singularity i ran the cpu test only we're not really testing the graphics card here i ran extreme settings because anything higher than that it really just ran horrible but it's very important ryzen gets a win here. I know it's only by one and a half FPS. We're talking like very small percentages, but the R5 1600 beat the 7600K in a CPU bound test. This is, this is crucial here. And let's go take a look at the next benchmark and let's see what the theme is for this video. So I ran this benchmark twice each to and from and I averaged the results. And I did not expect Ryzen to pull ahead. I'm, I'm just blown away. I can't believe that the KB Lake single thread performance that is absolutely key in this kind of game, and I know this is just a flight path, and you guys can see the settings I ran at, but I, I, I cannot believe that it, it did better. And I know it's only a couple FPS more, but the Intel chip should have actually cleaned its clocks. So let, let's keep going here. Like, let's find out what's going on. So here we see Ryzen suffer its first defeat. We're looking at about one and three quarters FPS at 90 FPS. The reoccurring theme so far has been these two are battling out so close that they're almost within margin of error from each other. It's a little bit early to build a conclusion yet. Let's take a look at one more test and then we're going to talk about what this means for the market. But this last one doesn't really surprise me very much. The physics, CPU testing, and 3D Mark time spot, I expected the 6-core hyper-threading to do better, and it did. So absolutely no shock on this one. 
but let's let, let's talk about what we found out today so I'm gonna try and not make this too long-winded but my results are really promising but more tests need to be run unfortunately I didn't have the time to do anything with overclocking and I can only run the benchmarks two to three times total per benchmark per computer so I need to run some more benchmarks no doubt about that I need to mess with higher RAM speeds I need to mess with overclocking but the chips are 600 megahertz difference out of the box that's probably where the overclocking is going to end up to be honest and memory overclocking is going to favor the Ryzen chip due to the Infinity Fabric and how it transmits data between the two clusters through the CCXs. So to be honest, that would probably help out Ryzen more than anything else. But the results are great. Early results coming in have been sold across the board on the Ryzen 5 chips, not the, the higher end ones, not the lower end ones. There's still a lot of issues with those. I haven't tested that. And the Ryzen 7 chips are doing pretty well as well. It's a great value add. My chip was $20 less, and it's performing within margin of error, clock for clock, well, not clock for clock, actually, stock for stock, right with the i5 chips. It's a fantastic value add. But upcoming videos, so let's talk about that. I'm gonna mess with the memory speed. I'm probably gonna be doing a little bit of overclocking on the core as well. I'm gonna do some benchmarks, show you guys what that looks like. Down the road, I'm also going to be doing some live streaming throughout the next couple weeks with the Ryzen chip to bring to you guys how well it runs during live streaming because that's why you buy a chip like this for multi-threaded applications. But if you guys want to purchase anything used in this video, whether it's the hardware or the software, I have links in the description below. It will help us out a lot, but that's where you guys can get the parts. And thank you guys very, very much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. If you hated it, it's cool. You can dislike it. Share it with friends if you think it'll help them out. But this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions, and I will see you guys later on down the road.